Welcome back to second episode of Tech Tree Fast and Easy of Kerbal Space Program. Today we're launching our third mission, the one which you could have combined with the second mission if you feel daring, but if you don't, this is the way to do it easier. Our mission today is to grab science data from, again, Kerbin, Moon and Minmus, and for that we're going to use Mystery Goo containers and Science Juniors. We have six of those and we're going to take measurements in low Kerbin orbit, high Kerbin orbit, lower Moon orbit, higher Moon orbit and the same for Minmus, high and low orbit. So here we are in the orbit around Kerbin and we are starting our burn for the Moon, our first stop. It's going to be pretty simple, because we don't really need to orbit the moon. All we have to do is fly by. And here we are doing the science in high Corbin orbit. Approaching the moon. Doing the science in high orbit. And I'm warping to periapsis to do the lower orbit science. Now we're just going to time warp out of sphere of influence of the moon and go for the Minmus. Let's create our maneuver node to change our inclination and because we are so far away from Kerbin it is only going to take us 32 meters of delta V, a very small amount and we have a lot of fuel so let's do that. And now let's create a second maneuver node to encounter Minmus. Again, we don't need to orbit Minmus, all we have to do is encounter it and do a flyby. So let's execute our node. Again, a very small change in the velocity of our ship. And because the change is so tiny, it is easier to do when the engines are set to very low thrust. So here we are in the orbit around Minmus. Well, we're not in orbit, we are encountering Minmus and doing a flyby. Let's lower our periapsis so that we can go and get the lower orbit signs, get the high orbit signs, time warp, get the low orbit signs, and take our Kerbonaut to grab all the data and move it to the capsule. I think it is happening in the Minmus orbit. Yes, it is. So here we are. Let's take Jebediah and ask him to remove all this data. Just like that. And the last set. And move it into the capsule. Done. Let's check if we have everything. Yes, we do. Time warp out of sphere of influence of Minmus and simply burn retrograde until our periapsis around Kerbin is low enough. Seventeen kilometers is okay. So let's time warp into the atmosphere. And unfortunately it is going to be a nighttime re-entry. So I'm going to change the brightness a little bit so that it is visible on the screen and it's not just black thing with flames. Okay, we're falling down. I think in the desert. Let's pop the parachute and take Jebediah to get the EVA report and the surface sample and everything that we usually do when we land in new biome. Here we go, 662 signs. So we can get the better electronics, better science and get some more rocket parts for our ship. 
and we're going for the second mission of today. It's approximately the same design as the last one, except this one is going to land on Minmus and get us the signs we need to unlock the last signs part in the tree. I think it could have been done a bit more efficient if I wouldn't have spent signs on some nodes which I haven't really used by now and maybe we would have been able to spare this mission but we cannot do it now so we are going for the landing on Minmus. Here we are going for the encounter and we're going for a nice equatorial orbit. Let's execute our course correction. As always, for the Minmos it will happen around the orbit of the Moon, not too far away and not too close to the target. And all we have to do now is get to the periapsis and circularize and maybe even land in one go. Because our velocity to the Minmus is so low, we don't really need to circularize first, we can immediately go for the landing, which is pretty simple. And here we go, touchdown. Let's do the science in this biome. And our ship doesn't have enough Delta V to get to other biomes. So let's plant our flag, take the surface sample, EVA report, and store them and everything else in the capsule. But before we actually leave, we can take Jebediah for a nice walk, because the other biomes are not too far away. We can EVA there, take EVA reports and surface samples, and we don't need the spaceship for that. So I'm going to take Jebediah for a walk, and I'm going to see you when I'm done with it. Because it's literally just a spacewalk. Nothing fancy. And here we go. Jebediah is successfully returned. He got EVA reports and surface samples from two or three closest biomes, namely slopes, midlands, and maybe there were also lowlands or highlands. I honestly do not remember. So, let's return to the Corbin, the same way we returned from our orbiting around the Minmus trip, so we are burning retrograde to its orbit, it lowers our periapsis around the Corbin, and again we are re-entering on the dark side. So let's gently fall down to the surface of the planet. Observe the nice re-entry effects. Use our parachutes. Less than 1000 meters away from the surface. Recover the capsule. 757 signs is ours. So we can unlock finally the gravioli detector and some more parts. And this is going to be it for the current episode. In the next episode we are going to break all the records we've set so far with amount of science we get and unlock almost the whole tree by doing one mission. Until then, thank you all for watching, remember to like, dislike and comment this video in the section below. My name is Darlok and I will see you next time. Goodbye!